How you doing, guys? Hope everybody's doing great. Let me just fix that camera right there. Get a little bit different right there. Here we go. So, as you can see from the description below, this is a video of all the stuff I said I was going to tell you how it went and how it worked. I know I do that a lot, and I end up not showing you guys, so I want to get in the habit to show that more. Kind of a second part to the videos, but... To tell you about them, it's not going to take that long, so I figured I'd do a couple of little things here. Then, we'll do a couple of other things, maybe the week to follow or so. Um, I do have a couple of ideas of stuff I can um, say how it went. These were all stuff that was just unboxed. They weren't tested, per se. So, this gives me opportunity, after using them for a little bit, able to come back, revisit it. And this way, we can go over it. I can tell you what I thought, if it's good, bad, or indifferent. So... These are three of the products. Two of them are five below. And you saw that in the description. So hopefully you guys came back. I know everybody likes the five below video. So hopefully you guys came back for that. I guess we'll go over the fan first. This did go in our trip to our um, theme park. So that's the little charger we had out in there. And you know, this does the little in and out flip. You got your right and left side. It blows the air little air foils here and here and blows the air if we can let me just put it by the microphone so you guys can hear that's on full blast so let's go through cycle through it again it's that's number one number two and number three now it didn't affect anything about the park i'm just putting it around my neck for a second it didn't really affect anything at the park per se but it did because we went on an extremely hot day not as bad as it is this week but it is pretty it was pretty hot and this did help quite a bit of course your arms and your legs are going to be hot because it's not blowing on your your arms and and legs and stuff but this keeps your face cool because of course you know you don't want the sweat dripping down on you dripping in your face dripping on your arms dripping the whole you don't want that so this definitely definitely did the job of keeping us cool especially when we're in the long lines for certain rides so this was quite the device to have quite a helpful thing to have with us quite a helpful thing to use so i would check it out eight i think this one i don't know if this was five or eight i think this is actually eight dollars at five below so there you have it folks nice design it's pretty light so it's not super duper light like it doesn't feel like nothing's there. It has electronics and fans in it. But it's not that heavy at all. It actually looks heavier than it is. And now, for the what I think of it, I would say definitely a 1 out of 5, I would definitely give this a 4. It's not the utmost perfection, but pretty good. I think to, be, to hit that 5 mark, if it would last a little bit longer. It didn't quite last as long as we thought, so... The battery life, a little bit undesirable, but it was good. Now, the headphones that we had last week, I think I still have the box over here somewhere. Yes, they are Built Tough Sound Buds. So they were the Five Below Built Tough Sound Buds. And you got the carabiner and the little um, ring that came with it. As you can see, they started charging because I started moving them. This is uh, kind of Carbon Fiber X. S and it has a little spot so you can stand it on here right there so it does have all that and then they flip they kind of look like those really expensive headphones by that rap guy there I'm not gonna say the name of it so I don't get all in trouble and demonetized or something you know the guy he got the red headphones and it also looks like those other air things I'm not gonna say the full name of those either you know those air things Kind of very similar to those two products. But as you can see, it's trying to connect to something. So I'm going to put it back in. They both came out. Like I said, with this, you do have... It's not a rubber around there, but... As you can see, it's quite hard to have it open. Now, I didn't hang it off the back of my pack. My, back, my little backpack. But I did have it on the inside to swing around the entire day. Moving the book bag, putting it up so I could get on rides and whatnot. And oh, these were eight dollars by the way. 
all that mumbling and jumbling and fumbling and all that did stay completely in there. And I threw them back in the car on the way home, on the drive. The bag fell when I had to stop short a little bit. They were still in the little box when I got home. So definitely. And the sound quality, the the call, like all the five below stuff, the microphone isn't the most wonderful thing in the world. They can hear you. They can understand you. That's the most important part. Is it super duper clear? No, not quite. But they can hear you when you're speaking. Um, the sound quality as far as headphones and you hearing the other people. The other white ones I have that I reviewed before, which I actually have here. I'm just moving some stuff to get to them. These so far are my favorite $8 earbuds from five below i want to say amazon for a minute no, it's five below anyway these are so far my favorite ones i just like the case it just feels super premium a very good case so these are definitely and the review if you want to see the actual review of just this product it's down below in the videos you can check that out that's the buy tech ones the fit and finish on these are a little more superior than this the sound quality, this has a more stereo kind of surroundish sound to them, the white ones. These ones, it doesn't quite have that stereo sound, but you can hear every little nuance in the video. Every little sound, every little, like you're watching a movie and the person steps on something, piece of wood and it breaks or something, you will hear it on these. So sound quality, as far as that type of quality, yes. As far as for music, I'd rather have the white ones, but these are kind of built rugged and tough. I like exercising them more, exercising with them more than the other ones. So save the other ones for just chilling and relaxing or doing, listening to something that I need to for work or school, whatever. The white ones. These ones working out, out on the go. The case is going to keep them in. The case is good. I would bring these with me. And now, the one out of five, I would definitely give these probably a three or like 3.5, because I think the sound quality and the fit and finish on the other ones are better. They're the same price, $8. I go with those if you can find them. I have yet to be able to find them again. But these ones are pretty decent. I would definitely go with these for an everyday beater type of headphones. Now, if you're into the beard stuff, I had that... um beard growing kit by the beard man there uh zach or whatever anyway now as far as the oils themselves the beard oil i have used it i dropped it and lost a lot of oil so i do have a different oil now and i will be checking that one out now the smell amazing really really like the smell on this this is the oil for the beard to um, moisturize and promote beard growth. Very good. Keep the beard nice and soft. Very healthy looking. I was growing the top part of my goatee, so this definitely helped and definitely worked. The beard balm. Balm, blom, whatever you call it. As you can see, I've been using it. It has a decent smell, kind of a waxy smell. Of course, it's wax base not gonna have the same smell as the oil if you're looking for the scent go for the oil this is good too though but it's very nice i love the case because it's screwed down most of the beard bombs i have or, kind of, or i have had in the past they're kind of flip it open and you go this it's got a nice screw top it's very comfortable very good then that brings us to what i the way i've been using it I've been alternating. I've been using the oil almost every day and the beard balm every couple of days. Now this I've been using every night to the beard growth. It is the serum or yeah, serum. It is the, what is it? Beard growth serum providing my, uh, minerals and nutrients for your beard. It has a little pump pump. Get yeah, it's not as, it's, it does soften it a little bit, but I believe it does help the growth. If you want to check out the thing, you just pump a couple of pumps into your hand, massage it into your beard, make sure you get into the roots, into the by the skin and everything, make sure everything's covered. 
and you got it all in there. Definitely, definitely works. I would really suggest these products. I will probably buy them again. I went with a different oil when that oil um, spilt because I just kind of needed the oil, not everything. So I just went the oil with that. But I definitely would revisit this product for sure again or just test some more stuff. Anyway, so there you have it. You have our air fan or neck fan or headphones and the beard growth formula. The what I think of everything and for the beard growth thing for um, one to five I definitely give that a five it was very good and it's still good and I still really like it and enjoying it so like always thank you guys so much for watching I really really appreciate it and like always have a great great day okay